When I say forever, you say number one. Hello, forever. Number one. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm so, so excited. Um, I was just told I have to come up here and say something just now. But I'm glad to be up here because today is a very, very, very happy day for me. And um, this journey started 11 years ago. Um, my background is medicine. I'm a medical doctor. My husband is a doctor as well. We have a hospital in Nigeria. And we have four children that God blessed us with. And when people are talking about these dreams, um, when people ask me, what is forever about? What kind of products do you sell? I say, we sell dreams. It's all about dreams. And forever is for people who have big dreams. Do you have big dreams? Yes. Anyone here with big dreams? Yes. So we have these big, lofty dreams of educating our four children, giving them first-class education. And so we took the decision to send them to independent boarding schools here. My husband and I walking around the clock in the clinic, walking around the clock at the school, just to make sure we pay their fees. And everything was going great until it happened. Our income dropped, and then paying the school fees became very, very stressful. It was actually January 2001, it was snowing, and we were about to take the children back to schools before going back home, and that phone call came from a friend of mine who lived in Birmingham, and she goes, how are you and your husband coping with these children's school fees here? Because I just found the perfect business for you to do. And I said, if it's anything with importation, there's even no money. I can't, we can't, you know when you borrow money from the bank and you can't borrow anymore. We can't even borrow more. So we can't import anything. And he, she said, it's not about importation. And she sent a lovely gentleman to come and show me the business. That's Richard Hayes. And Richard drove on the snow from Birmingham to Milton Keynes with one little black box. <laughs> And I laughed and I said, is this how I'm going to pay the fees? <laughs> <laughs> so I said to Richard, honestly, thank you for coming, but this thing won't work. Because I don't see how this can translate to my needs now. I'm paying about 6,000 pounds per term per child into four places. And what is this? How many, what is the worth of this product? And Richard said... Let me show you the plan. And when he finished, I said, well, it may work in England, but I don't think it will work in Nigeria. <laughs> and moreover, you are an accountant, so you have the brain for figures. I'm a doctor. I can't deal with this. And, but he said, well, the products are good, you know. And he mentioned something about anti-stress. I said, okay, I'll buy the box <laughs> because of the stress. <laughs> and the box... He had told me it was 200 pounds, so I brought out the 200 pounds. He said, so fill the form. I said, no, I can't do the business. I just want the products. And he goes, okay, so you pay the full retail price, and that'll be. He started calculating, and it was close to 300 pounds. I said, okay, sign me up then, as long as, <laughs> <laughs> as, long as there's no punishment if I don't build the business. Anyway, he was a very good sponsor. He still is. And he did something. He came back, he called the night, in the night and said, there's a training in Milton Keynes, I would like you to be there. And that was a QLS day, January 2001. And that was where I met my mentor, um, <laughs> Dorothy Wood. And um, she was dancing on stage. And everyone was so excited. And I'm like, are these people on this planet? <laughs> And they're paying school fees. What's going on with them? What's wrong with these people? And my husband said there's nothing wrong with them. He thinks they are making money here. That he thinks, <laughs> he thinks we should pay attention to what they're saying. But we had to leave because um, we had to take the children back. But we didn't leave without getting an appointment with Jane Leach and John. 
So we had to go the next day to see them at home. The presentation was in her kitchen. The driveway up her house was turning. The cars packed in the carport. I was like, what do these people do for a living? And she said she does forever. I said, okay, maybe her husband is loaded. So what does your husband do? <laughs> and he said, forever too. I said, okay, show me what you people are doing. And she went on from her checks, one check after the other, showing me the plan. And something struck a chord. When she got to 6,000 pounds, I said, stop there. I need 6,000 pounds to pay one child's school fees. And that's all I need right now, so don't go further. But I don't need in a month, I need it in a term. Because then I used to think in terms of school terms. And so she said, okay, that's easy. Just make manager, and um, you'll be doing about 1,000 plus a month, and that will amount to about 6,000 a term. So I said, okay, what do I do? And that was how I got my first planning meeting what I needed to do, how to make my list, how to do my tea parties, how to do my business presentations. But I was scared because she lived in England, Richard lived here, I live in Nigeria, who was going to do my lunch for me? And um, I said, okay, um, can you guys come to Nigeria? And they were like, mm. <laughs> okay, maybe when you make manager, we can come. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, so what do I do to get to manager? I was told what to do. So this is actually a lesson because someone said it is your business, it is your life, it is your future, and if you have to do it, then you get up and do it. So um, I wouldn't expect them to fly all the way from here to Nigeria to come and do a lunch for someone who just started. So I had to do it. And I was the, my living room was fully air-conditioned, and I was sweating while I was making that first presentation at home. And at the end of it all, everyone was like, Maria, you know, I can't sell. You know, it's, who will buy? Anyway, it's okay. And then my brother took pity on me and bought one to jail. <laughs> and um, that was how my first business presentation and product launch went. And... Thank God I read a book called um, MLM Not Tumbles before then. And I said, okay, no problem. Jan Roo's first meeting, nobody came even, so at least some people came here. So I did it again. I did it again. And what happened turned out to be amazing because I noticed that with consistent activities, doing the business presentations, when all, all my friends said no, I then had to move out to another circle and started talking to people, other people that were not necessarily my friends. And then those people I'd noticed were looking at the opportunity from an objective point of view. And before I knew it, I signed up my first person, the second person, and they signed up their first person and the second person, and I'm like, wow. So my first check was... Um, 13,000 naira, which is something like 50 pounds. And my husband laughed his head off. <laughs> so this is how we're going to pay the children's school fees in England. I told you, you're just wasting time. And then the second check was 47,000, which is about 200 pounds. And then he just decided to become indifferent to the business. And then the third one was 186,000, which is about 800 pounds. And the fourth one was 518,000, which is about 2,000 pounds. And then the next one was 696, which is close to 3,000 pounds. And he was like, um, how is this? What, what are you guys actually doing? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, what happened was that our life started to change. So I'm sure many of you today, maybe you just started. I don't know your experience. I don't know if some people have told you no. I don't know if some people didn't attend your business or product launch. But remember, you have a goal. You keep your eye on the target. And you do the necessary activities. Actions and reactions are equal and opposite. So if you do those necessary activities, you've got great trainers here. I couldn't help taking notes. Um, Dana Page's training was 
awesome. And you just do those basic activities and keep doing them. It doesn't matter what the result is. It doesn't matter if someone is saying no, because someone somewhere is waiting for that information. And if you stop at some point, they won't get it. And so you just keep doing what you have to do and keep doing those activities. Remember, you have to build activities into a routine. And from the routine, it becomes a habit. And once it comes into being a habit, then momentum kicks in. And when momentum kicks in, even you can stop the business. Even if I decided to stop my business today, it can't stop because it's just on autopilot. It's going by itself. It's just moving on its own because I have built a structure, a system. And where, was it difficult? Of course. Where there are so many no's, thousands. But if you keep doing the activities day by day, hour by hour, make sure every hour counts. Every hour, every minute should be accounted for. Make the calls, make the follow-up calls, do the things that you're supposed to do, do on the job trainings, everything you need to do, you just keep doing them, whether you're getting the results or not, because you will get the results. And the power of network marketing is duplication. And immediately you start getting the results and sharing your system and your method with the people that are your business, it will keep on multiplying. And it gets to that point where they call it geometric progression. Even you can count it. Today, um, I'm glad to report that the school fees has finished. <laughs> Thanks to forever. All the children have graduated. The first one is here. He's taking video there. He's an engineer, uh, electronics and software. He works in Rolls Royce here in the UK. He got his master's degree from um, Leicester University. The second one is the one they turned back there because she has her baby. And um, she's out there watching. She's, uh, she has a PhD in cardiovascular medicine. She went to Oxford and uh, she has two children. And I'm so, so happy that she's so fired up. She wants to do business as well while she's on maternity leave. Isn't it interesting? And um, she actually has, um, her, has uh, someone she just signed up in this uh, meeting, Mr. John, and he's there. And then the next one is a chartered accountant. She went to Imperial College. She made the first class. And um, she's back home. She's working with PwC. And the youngest one also graduated from Oxford. She read French and Russian. And she's doing her master's in um, Sciences Po in France. And she, she finished... Um, uh, just finished with Goldman Sachs Investment Bank and she resigned as an associate to go and do her master's. So Forever actually did deliver on my dreams. And that's why I tell, say to people, it's all about dreams. Imagine if the nose had made me to stop doing, making the presentations. Imagine if the fear of being rejected has stopped me from continuing to speak to more people. Imagine if the excuses that everyone always have is raining, there's no trains, and all those things had made me stop building the business. Where would these children have been today? And forget about even that, my personal benefit. What about the people in my team? Believe it or not, this team has grown, gone viral. It's everywhere. Today I'm here because Dr. and Dr. Mr. Okongwo are being recognized as managers. And we signed them up some years back. And there are amazing people in their teams who are, who are being recognized as supervisors and who are moving up to managers. So when you say yes, and when you build it, and when you build it right, it's not just about your dream, it's about you touching other people's lives. So there's Joyce here, there's Stacy here, there's uh, Titi here, all of those people in almost teams that are already pushing for managers as well. And that's because I said yes and I stuck to it. Think about the people you would have reached out to and you can reach out to directly or indirectly if you build this business right. So it's not just about you. And the business has gone, it's in East Africa, South Africa, Zambia, and so on. And remember my first check, the 50 pounds? Today we do over 40 something thousand dollars every month from forever. Is it worth it? And I just have, I just have to say, um, I joined an amazing team, the QLS group, and uh, the training is so powerful. And um, 
Forever itself is amazing. And please remember, it's all about personal development. Remember, it's your business. Whether you join the, an amazing team or no amazing team, whose goal is it? Yours. Do it by yourself. It's your goal, it's your vision, it's your dream. And if I can do it, I believe everyone in this room can. I know that everyone can do it if they see, if they know what they want and they go for it without fear. No excuses. The rule is what? No excuses. I'm so busy. No, no big deal. You are busy. Everyone else is busy. It's raining. It's not raining only on your own house. Just go <laughs> and do it. Go for your goals. And um, I think you would, um, you'll be glad. And apart from that, let's spread this news. Because forever is a hope. It's, it's like a rescue boat, really. So let's just spread the information. A lot of people out there are waiting for this information. So anyhow, just do it. Whether you even know the system or not, just tell people. Just say it anyhow you can. Because just use the enthusiasm and share the information. And then um, you will achieve your goals while helping other people achieve theirs. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, John. Thank you, Richard. And thank you to everyone in my team. God bless. Diamond manager, Marie Nigo.